Good evening, folks. Tonight we're going to be discussing how we calculate the density of a substance or an object. In the past, we've learned how to measure the mass of an object, we've learned how to measure the volume of an object, and we learned how to measure the distance between two points. Today, we're going to discuss density. The first question we have to ask when we're calculating density is, well, what is density? Density is simply a ratio of the amount of mass, meaning the amount of matter and atoms and molecules there are, in a particular amount of space. So how much stuff is packed into a particular amount of space? You'll notice here that I wrote down the word ratio, because density, in other words, is a ratio of how much mass, remember we said how many atoms or molecules, this is our mass, right, divided by how much space they take up which is our volume. So density is really a ratio of mass divided by volume. And that'll tell you how many molecules are packed into a specific amount of space. So the density of any particular substance or a specific substance remains the same because the ratio of mass to volume will remain constant. So based on that, the density of a pure copper statue of Rocky is going to be the same as the density of a pure copper penny. Even though they're much different in size, it doesn't matter about their overall size when you talk about density. Because when you take a fraction of the, of the statue and you break it down and you look at the individual piece of copper, you will find that there are just as many molecules packed into that little penny for the amount of space it takes up as there is for the amount of molecules packed into that huge statue of Rocky. So even though it's much more massive and heavier, it takes up more space. Whereas the penny is less massive, but takes up less space. Okay, so overall the density will remain constant. So how do we measure density? Density is measured in units of grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter. Now this should make a little bit of sense to you because in our past aims, in our past um, laboratory experiments, we found that a cubic centimeter occupies the same amount of space as a milliliter. The formula for density is density equals mass divided by volume. We can use this formula to make something we call a density triangle or plug it into what we use and we will be using throughout the year, something called a formula triangle where you have a setup like a triangle here and you see the mass is divided by volume so the mass is going to go up top and it's going to plug in here you're going to have volume over here and then you draw this little line there and the density is going to plug in here with this density triangle we can do several different calculations we could calculate the density by covering up the D and dividing mass by volume we can calculate the volume by covering up the V and doing mass divided by density. And to calculate for mass, we cover up the M and we multiply the D times the V, the density times the volume. So for any quantity you need to solve this equation for, you simply cover up that quantity and you do whatever the triangle tells you to do. So if it was density, like we said, it would be mass divided by volume and so forth. Remember, mass is measured in grams. Volume can be measured in cubic centimeters or milliliters. Now you have to be careful because sometimes cubic centimeters is written as cc, cubic centimeters. So we would add that up here as well. So the units for density could also be grams per cubic centimeter. Okay? So down here you're going to have grams per cubic centimeter. And we'll write it both ways. Or grams per milliliter. So this is how you set up a formula triangle. Now let's use this to solve some problems. In a word problem, they're going to give us several different bits of information. We have to identify what they're asking us, identify the information they give us in the problem, and plug it into our formula triangle. So let's set up our formula triangle first. Remember, density equals mass divided by volume. So what are they asking us? They're asking us what the density of the cheese is. So they want to calculate density. So based on that, we have to assume that they're going to give us both the mass and the volume of the cheese so that we can do the calculations. Otherwise, we cannot do the calculations. So what is the mass? 
This problem tells us that the brick of cheese has a volume of 80 cubic centimeters and a mass of 100 grams. So we'll plug 100 grams in first. Remember, density equals mass divided by volume. So they gave us the mass of 100 grams, and they tell us the volume is 80 cubic centimeters. So we do the math. We do 100 grams divided by 80 cubic centimeters, and that gives us an answer of 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter. And what you'll see here is we divided the grams by cubic centimeter, and that became our units for density, and 100 divided by 80 equals 1.25. At this point, we're going to move on to a couple of more word problems to practice. So here's another word problem. First things first, let's set up our density triangle, all right? So we get used to setting up these formula triangles. So what are they asking us? In this question, they're asking us the density of the soda. Then they tell us a bottle of soda has a volume of 500 milliliters, so they give us the volume there. And a mass of 750 grams. So now we need to plug in those numbers into our formula. So the mass is 750 grams divided by the volume of 500 milliliters gives us a density of 1.5 grams per milliliter. Again, remember, make sure you divide grams by milliliter. That becomes our units for density. 750 divided by 500 is 1.5. Okay, let's practice another one. Here we're told that a block has a mass of 100 grams and a density of 65 grams per cubic centimeter. So they're not asking us for density this time. They're asking us for the volume. Okay, so let's set up our formula triangle again. So this time we have to solve for the volume. So if we covered up the volume here, we would find that mass divided by density equals volume. So we could write that in. Volume equals mass divided by density. Our mass is 100 grams, so we put that into our formula. Our density, they tell us, is 65 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, when we divide grams by grams per cubic centimeters, the grams cancel each other out and leaves us with cubic centimeters. When we divide 100 by 65, we get a value of point. 0.65 cubic centimeters. So the volume of the block is 0.65 cubic centimeters. So here we have a, another word problem that tells us if there are 800 milliliters of a liquid in a bottle, and that's our volume, and the density of that liquid is 1600 grams per milliliter, that's our density. What is the mass of the liquid? So they're asking us for the mass. So let's set up our density triangle again. So this time we want to solve for mass. So if we look at this, mass equals density times volume. Now we need to plug in our numbers. The density was 1,600 grams per milliliter, and our volume was 800 milliliters. The milliliters cancel each other out, which is actually equal to 1,280,000 grams. Okay, that's all we have this evening with regard to calculating density and the density triangle. Uh, that's all we have for tonight. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask as we circulate throughout the room.